in the history of biogeography we will be discussing about the distribution of life today in the 18th century the explorers and naturalists revealed the more and more of the world and they also extended the horizons of biogeography itself and they discovered a great variety of organisms and that variety of organism consist of the uh, distribution of life that we see today the british botanist joseph banks and the german johann reinhold foster together with his son george foster who collected thousands of species of plants and many of them new to the science right so these were the scientists who collected a lot of species and these were species that were new to the science as well the foster found that buffon's law, uh, law applies to plants as well as to the animals and also applies to the any region of the world that was separated from other by barriers of geography or climate so the for, foster gave an other uh, explanation or he gave the of the view that based on his knowledge of the collection of plants he said that the buffon's law is applicable to the plants as well and to all the animals and plants that are separated by the and in any part of the world separated by the climate or the geography so he also find out that there are uh, gradients of diversity gradients of diversity means that there is more diversity towards the pole as we go sorry uh, not towards the pole but towards the equator uh, there is more diversity uh, towards the equator as we go away from the equator there is less and less diversity and there being more uh, plant species closer to the equator and progressively few as one moves towards the pole and first observation of island biogeography was done by the forest forester as well so the concept of 18th century were that uh, the uh, the ecological biodiversity botanical region and island uh, biogeography all of these ideas were very much established at that point time all have been recognized by the end of the 18th century so all of these concept they have been having their roots and they were very much established at that time so now there were some questions which were asked by the naturalist how all these different floras have come into existence widely scattered all over the earth's surface so there was a uh, german botanist named as the karl wildnau in 1792 so what did he do he suggested that although there had been only one act of creation it had taken place simultaneously in many places so again he, uh, what he was establishing uh, is the cre creationist point of view right so right now we are not talking about the evolution yet the ideas of evolution are not yet into the market so he is uh, uh, explaining things according to the creationist point of view in each area the local flora had been able to survive the flood and then it is developing into the new and new plants other scientist german alexander von humboldt uh, the founder of the plant geology so he had a vast collection of plants in the of the south america and he published a lot of books on these as well so humboldt believed that world was divided into number of natural regions each with its own distinctive assemblage of animal and plants so he was in a way very much right because we do have uh, earth distributed in different continents and that is geographical uh, distribution as well as there are certain climatic distribution for example there are the rainforest or the biomes uh, you can see the different biomes in different geographical region of the earth so he was uh, first to give this idea of geographical distribution and having uh, each geographical distribution having the its own assemblage of animal and plants and then there was augustin de candol of geneva who in uh, 1805 together with lamarck published a map showing france divided into five floristic regions with different ecological conditions so the france was having five different regions and he published a map with the help of lamarck 
and he was the first to coin the word endemic endemic means that one plant with or one animal which is present in one place only it is native to that uh, place and that is called endemic to that uh, place and then there were different vegetation maps uh, for example uh, 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 danish botanist joachim shaw was the first to classify the world's flora and show the results on map so he uh, uh, took some plants and he uh, distribute uh, he uh, elaborated the distribution of those particular plants onto a map and shown that these plants are present in these different areas of the world and the distribution map of particular group of plants rather than a map of regional flora so this is was related to some particular uh, group of plants not all the plants of the region and then there is much more delayed uh, detailed map by the griesbeck that you can see in the next slide so here you can see the griesbeck's more detailed color map of 1866 that was simply a vegetation map so this is not conveying you any other information that it was just a piece of history it is a map which shows you about the different vegetation which was present at that time according to the knowledge of griesbeck in 1866 so in a way we can see that the biogeography or the phytogeography in this particular map case it was developing more and more knowledge was accumulating about the number types of the species and the people were arranging those species according to the uh, geographical data